felt that difference between even just a tiny little toss and letting that letting that boulder roll down the mountain. It's a subtle thing. Yeah. So it's a very subtle thing, but again, once you start jumping up in reps, once you start jumping up in weight, it will make a difference. Anybody can get away with this dump stuff with the light kettlebell. When you move up, that's when these very subtle things of the technique. Also, the vertical teeter totter. How many people kind of felt that? Yeah, yeah, it was a good way to visualize. Yeah. The teeter-totter effect. Now, Misha reminded me, what we need to talk a little bit about is when you come back, how far you want to straighten your legs. The big key for me is you want to go back, but not at the point of mm, rounding your back. You want to straighten your legs out as much as you can still keep your back relatively flat. You get what I mean? So if I put my hand here and I go back, my, I don't want to be hunched over, but my legs are straight. Feel the difference there? Everybody kind of lean over on that. You see how, yeah, my legs are straight, but gosh, what is that doing to my low back? And then arch your back just slightly, so now you're back to neutral, right? Not super arch, but just kind of neutral. <coughs> now, how far are your legs bent? 10 degrees, I don't know, whatever. You see what I mean? That's probably, for most people, as much as you want to let your legs go straight. Because what's the most important thing? Your back. Don't screw up your back. 